Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Smart Sport today. Something a little different, man. I don't really mess around with these uh, supercars, but uh, today, Bugatti Veyron Super Sport rear wheel drive drift build. And without further ado, let's just jump in, see what parts we can put on this car, and uh, hopefully we can drift it because it's over 1,000 horsepower, man. So uh, <laughs> let's see what we can do, man. Let's jump in. All right, first things I want to do, I want to make sure. Hold on a minute. Oh yeah. All right, so we'll come back and do that. What I want to do is, uh, hold on a minute. Yes, make it rear wheel drive. Yep, she's a rear wheel drive monster. As you can see, 1,183 horsepower and the torque is 1,105. Uh, Newton meters. Now that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy, right? So we've done that. Let uh, uh, we gotta go back in there. My bad. Press the wrong button. All right. Let's. Uh, I don't really want to go too crazy with horsepower because uh, this thing has a lot of horses. I'm not looking to to go too crazy with it. So um, we're not adding none of that stuff in there. It's got a lot of horsepower. What we want to do is uh, definitely. Here we go. Anti roll bars. We're definitely putting on. Um, drift suspension and weight reduction. How does that bring it down? It's still three thousand pounds, but that's good enough. Um, what we want? Let me see. Have a look at this tire width. Two sixty fives in the front. We don't need to change that. And three sixty fives in the rear. Okay. Um, we're definitely gonna put it on. Let's see. What we've got race now. We're gonna leave it on uh, sport tires. And uh, there's no way I'm putting race tires on this. It's not gonna work. Um. What else we got? Uh, rims. Actually, I'm gonna leave it like this because this is how I used to drift it on Forza Motorsport 4, but that's when it was points drifting the all-wheel drive. But you know, we're definitely uh, we're gonna put a race transmission in it. Uh, race diff, we need that. Race clutch and race drive line. And wings. <laughs> oh no, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing no wings. Uh front bumper, oh damn, uh, let's have a look, rear bumper, what are we working with, no it's not really much for this car, hood, hood pins, no thank you, side skirts, what are we working with, what the, no, 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 okay, alright, so I think that should be pretty much it, let's throw a quick tune on there, take it for a quick spin, and then uh, we out of here man, it's just a quick one today, so, you know, I've uh, got a few things to do on my PC. Uh, my uh, hard drive is, uh, you know, in the red, so I've got to, you know, <laughs> uninstall some stuff, man, and get rid of some footage. So uh, let's uh, see what we can do. So we're going to bring down that rear tire pressure to about 30.5 psi in the rear. That should be about right. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the gears. Uh, we're definitely bringing back some of that camber. So oh, there we go. We're going to go a little, just a little. We're not going to go too hard on this too much because I'm not sure how this car is going to drift. So. But we're definitely gonna slam it and then we're gonna take it on Silverstone uh, to you know do the testing because uh, this car is gonna be a little bit of a crate all oh, my days I, I just want to bring this down a bit because I'm not too sure how this is gonna work out for me so let me just bring this down all right hold on a second we'll bring it down to about 35 percent and then we'll sort out the force feedback when we're on track let me just get a quick sip of my tea Go. All right. Here we go. Let's get it on Silverstone and uh, <laughs> see what we can do with this car. Hopefully, I can drift it. And it's a disclaimer. I don't know how good it's going to drift, or it could be too much for me. But I'm gonna try it. It's always good to try something different, man. You know, come out your comfort zone. Uh, I don't know how well I'm gonna drift the car, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll leave it on clear and we'll go to 69 for the, te the track temperature. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go test this uh, this monster. See how well it drifts. Some 
we'll definitely have to try this car out in the raining conditions as well. So uh, wish me luck, man. Here we go. <laughs> First time I've used the Bugatti Veyron in a Forza in many years. Uh, hopefully you should be able to drift pretty good. Oh, even brakes hit them brakes. Whoa, okay. Go for it. Oh my days. Oh my goodness, man. This is a handful. All right. Be easy with the front on the left foot brake. We're good to go. Goodness, this thing is a, a freak. All right, let's do a little third person. All right, we're gonna send it in nice and easy, see how it feels. It is a handful, I ain't gonna lie to you. We may have to uh, drop some of the force feedback down in this car. We're gonna have to touch that fourth gear. Wow, we're gonna have to touch that fourth gear, man. All right, when we get around the corner, we'll, we'll, we'll see what the fourth gear is saying. It feels really good, it's a lot of power though. Hit that brake. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's a handful. Might have to mess around with the PSI, maybe put it back up a little bit. That would take our time a bit. The gears are very short, so... We're gonna run the section. Let's bring it in nice and easy. Too bad. Let's be light with the throttle. Yeah, uh, it's a good job I didn't put any more uh, horsepower in this because uh, oh yeah, it's a handful. And the angle's crazy man. I put like negative 2.5 camber in the front man. If I'd have left it at that uh, that big camber range man, it, I don't think it would have been driftable at all man. Alright, let's see what we can do. Nice and smooth in this uh, fourth gear. Oh, this car has an angle, man. The foot brake. Okay, okay. Oh, it wants to go, man. We could. Uh, let's just quickly turn down some force feedback because that is a bit brutal. The force feedback is really heavy. See, 100%. So we'll bring it down. I'll bring it down to about, let's see, 70. 75. 75 should be about right. Hopefully, that should have done it. Run a couple of more sections with this, it should be fine. To get that steering a little bit lighter. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, slow down, man. This car, oh, it's going to be a handful. But it's fun. It's fun to do something different with a drift build. Um, I wouldn't normally do this with the uh, Bugatti Bay one, make it rear wheel drive, but man, I don't have to master this one. It is a bit of a beast. Be on your A game with this car. It's a good job I brought down the differential as well. On my almost like a you know a limited slip. Yeah, yeah, it, it can need a bit of refining. So we're gonna finish off today's video with a little copy. We're gonna run it back one more time. Let's see how it feels. But yeah, man, <laughs> wild ain't a word, man. Here we go. Dash run. Let's full send. Hopefully we can make that corner just right. What we do, we'll leave it in the uh, the third gear just to go around this little section. Really nice and easy. Those turbos, man. There we go. You just gotta be light with the throttle, man, because this thing is just spinning for days. Hey, this one, I'm gonna tandem with the boys with this later on, man. <laughs> Yeah, sick. <laughs> Bugatti Veyron, Super Sport, Drift Build, Rear Wheel Drive Monster. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content and boops. Have a great day. Peace.